out and a haunted house. The Amityville Horror 1979. This is such a classic uh, haunted house. There's so much clout. How could you not say that the Amityville Horror doesn't 112 Ocean Avenue? No matter what they do, change the number, change the model of the house. It still looks the same. It still has the two creepy eyes. You will remember this house. Uh, it's got so much clout, of course, with the media surrounding it, the haunting. Uh, the, the Amityville Horror, one of a kind, 1979. You gotta check out this haunted house. Um, so creepy, too. We have a murder that takes place inside the house. New couple moves in about a year later. Oh boy, oh boy, stuff happens. Check out this movie. Rose Red, 2002. Talk about a clout. Uh, you know, a haunted house with so much clout. If this thing was actually real, uh, Stephen King does it so well, and this movie does it so well, you think the house actually existed at a point. Don't hold me to it. That's how good the movie does it. Uh, but a lot of clout behind this house. Rose Red, built in older times, just keeps on building itself, supposedly. But the house is magnificent. The places they go is, and the haunting itself. Oh, so creepy and scary. Talk about haunted house with clout. 13 Ghosts, 2001. Yeah, talk about a haunted house for clout. You got ghosts that are captured in this house, trapped in the house. It's got a lot of clout because of that, and you're going to it. It's such a unique haunted house at that, because you're actually keeping the ghosts inside to haunt the house on purpose. Really cool ha uh, house, how it is engineered, how it is made, constructed, architect uh, here is so cool. Really like this in 13 Ghosts, a haunted house with true clout. The Haunting in Connecticut, 2009. Yeah, uh, this will be here, The Haunting in Connecticut. You know, you move into a house, it's a normal house, that's the thing, nothing's magnificent. So you go to the basement, and you know the bodies were, it's a mortuary, an old mortuary. So you know, bad things are left there, bad things are gonna happen in Connecticut. Supposedly based on a real haunted house, so you do have a little bit of true basis story to go off with to make it more scary, more clout behind it when you're saying it's a true story, and you're putting it on a silver screen in cinema. Uh, really, a clout of well, a haunted house. The Haunting, 1999. A lot of clout behind this house because it's historical in a way. You know, we're bringing a uh, sleep paralysis people here to try to ramp something up, some psychological, uh, uh, psychic phenomena you want to see happen, and you get more than that here in the haunting. Uh, very memorable. The house, just I just love the cinematography and the production design in this film. Uh, the acting is great. A, you got Liam Neeson, you got a lot of Catherine Zeta Jones, and you got Mr. Wilson. So you got a lot of people here in the haunting that are going to make the haunted house have a lot of clout when they step into it. Salem's Lot. 2004. I'm going with the miniseries here, the television series of Salem's Lot from 2004, the Marston House. Such an underrated haunted house with so much clout. The whole town knows it. The house sits upon a hill right above looking over this town, uh, Salem's Lot, Jerusalem's Lot. So you're going to know that it's just got so much clout. Everyone in town talks about it. Keeps away from it like just like you should, uh, just like Ben Meir should, but he doesn't because he loves him some Hubie, uh, some Hubie Marston here. So the Marston House has a lot of clout and it's a haunted house. Clout and a haunted house.